Good evening and welcome back once again. So it's a massive match today in the league against Barcelona. A few changes of, of notable with Ruben Cascio continuing up top. He's on that flashing up, which means his stats should be going up a lot quicker. We're getting that experience. We are bringing Mudrik in that attack midfield role in place of Vieira just because he's on and up. Gedson and Mariba have come in the central midfield positions. And we've got Ogbonna coming in that central defender role. Teixeira is coming at left back because back on four, she's on a downward red. And he's been brilliant in the past few matches. Let's jump in. Big match today in the league. Remember, we're nine points ahead of Barcelona and Real Madrid. We're top of the league. Can we push that gap even further? Had some great performances recently. The likes of Castro getting back to back hat tricks, Martinelli getting a hat trick. Ruben Castro only got the one goal in the last match, but he got man of the match again. Nice play there as well. Oh, just didn't quite fall for us. And Mbappe, I didn't realise they got Mbappe. Here's Diaby. In early. Castro. And it's 1 0. Keeper got a hand in it. But he forced it in. Giobi getting the assist. Nice little ball on the corner there. Oh, keeper. Maybe a little bit unfortunate. But he also might feel like he should have done better. You know, if you get a hand to it. Just too strong. That's exactly the start we wanted. And we've been doing that quite a bit recently. God, that's a terrible ball. Straight to Martinelli. And uh, Castro loses out somehow. Him, but somehow they get it back and again yeah that felt scripted no matter what I did there it was just finding the way to the play and Depay has got a goal earlier on as well I got I won the ball but a couple of times and it just kept going to their players well it's a quick start for both teams not what I wanted there though Castro getting pulled all over the place. Diaby! And it's 2-1. And again, the keeper got a hand on it. Through Castro. He's getting his shirt pulled all over the place. Stayed strong. And it's a really nice ball through. Diaby with the first time shot. Maybe caught the uh, keeper off guard. But you've got to feel that the keeper's going to save that one. I don't think the keepers are going to be happy with any of the goals that have gone out. I think... Although Schubert, it was in the corner. The goalkeeper Schubert's quality, you would expect him to maybe do better. Not terrible goalkeeper or anything, but on another day he might have saved it. These two, yeah, the keeper's got hands on both shots for both goals. Um, he's got a feel. Yeah. Pretty poor about those. Couldn't even get my words out, to be honest. I guess I just need to calm things down a bit, I think. Um, got to remember the quality that Barcelona have obviously got. The likes of Mbappe. He is Gedson. Of course, Madrid playing in that central attack midfield. Oh, really nice ball to him from Castro. Weighted well, but Madrid gets tackled. Could be back in here again, though. And he is. Madrid off the post. Smashed it in there, but it just hit the outside of the post. Really well worked, though. Can we keep that in? Nope. Gets caught out there. Martinelli. Oh, that's a really bad ball. Castro had a bit of space. It wasn't the easiest pass to play, but it was nowhere near finding his target. Absolutely nowhere near. But Castro could be in here. 
Castro. Oh, just wide. Had to take the shot. Again, the shirt was getting pulled. Well, Castro's all over this game again. He's involved in everything. And Modric fired into DRB. Now Castro. Modric. Castro again. And it's 3 1. Brilliant finish. It's lovely play though. Mudrick firing it into GRB. Mudrick gets it back. Castro's on the run. There's no way you're going to stop him there. And it's a really nice finish. Very calm finish. Tiny bit of space. Got to keep pushing on though because two goals is nothing really. Great tackle from Navarro. He's been having some good games recently as well when needed. DRB. I don't know how that wasn't a foul. Now Mudrick. It's Castro. Ah. Just losing out there. Ooh, oh, they got away with that one. Navarro mopping up. Martinelli. Castro. Mudrick. Mudrick again. Not quite. It's a good tackle by Teixeira. Into Mudrick. Castro. DRB. Oh, what a finish that is. Top corner. Teixeira won it back. Mudrick into Castro. Nice little ball out. But that finish. No way they keep us stopping it this time. Just inside the post. And we are putting on a performance today. That was a foul and they play on. Play for Mariba. Jarvi Mudrick just loses out there. Nice play. Mudrick again. Now DRB. Oh, a bit unlucky hit the Barcelona player's heel. That's a poor ball though. Really poor. Now Emerson brings it away. Mudrick. Martinelli. Gedson. Martinelli again. Surely that's a foul. No. Nope. Alright. That's a tell the ball. Cash will get it and then I'll lose it again. <laughs> Bit scrappy the last two minutes. That should be half time and it is. What a half. And again, the opposition only had one chance in goal and they scored it. And that seems to be the common thing with the computer. You can keep them out as much as you want, but you give them one sort of chance and they often score it. Um, oh, good tackle from Mudrick there. Now Castro. Martinelli. Now Maribe. Ah, it's a poor ball. I was trying to play it back to Martinelli, but... Patrick. Teixeira. Castro. Tried to play it Martinelli. Oh, it's definitely frantic. 
Take a share just to get that in. Now Emerson, haven't seen much of him today. Now DRB. Ah, oh, it's a poor ball. Diaby gets it. Mudrick. Maribe. Oh, Castro just stopped there. I think we'll try and make some subs now. So we are going to bring Ruben Castro off, which we were always going to do just to give him a rest with him being on that up. We want to play him in the next match if possible. Zirkzee coming on, Diaby going off for Carlos Perez and Kangin Lee coming on for Mudrick. And all of these guys going off have had a great game. Two goals each from Diaby and Castro and Mudrick very much involved in a lot of the play. I thought about bringing Vieira on, but um, yeah, I want to give Kangin Lee a chance here not great defending there give some up a bit of space here don't know where Xerxes is going directly to him and he just moved out of the way. Good tackle from Mog Bonnet. Perez. Zixi. Martinelli. Zixi again. Nice play, but then he gets taken out. Apparently it was a legitimate tackle. That's a poor ball. That's ridiculous. I know it's a great goal, but it's just ridiculous that the the AI get, you know, you just has to give them one chance and they score, and that's not, I just don't think it's realistic. Great goal though, and I skipped the replay because I was angry. Um, I just like a little bit of balance, you know. Marie bet. Martinelli now. Plenty of space down this left hand side. Zixi. Oh, got taken out there. To be fair, I was actually trying to play it back to Marie bet. Not quite sure what happened there. Kitson. Lee Kang in. Carlos Perez. Lee Kang in. Oh, it deflects over. So close to being five. And we will have Kang and Lee take this. And I do switch between saying his name Lee Kang in and Kang and Lee. Zixi should have been a goal. Really should have been. He's Tech Shara. And Martinelli. Kang and Lee. Zixi, Perez. Again, I don't know how that's a legitimate tackle. Kang and Lee. Oh, just wide. He's a very similar player to Vieira. But he doesn't hit the target anywhere near as often as Vieira. I'm sure that'll come in time, but uh, Zixi, no Martinelli, Zixi again, really nice play, and <laughs> absolutely powered in. Don't know what the keeper was doing. Like I said, it is nice play. But the keeper, well, he's just in no man's land there. Good 
Quite finished out. And that's made it a little bit more comfortable again. I still don't want to let in any more goals. I mean, Barcelona have had two shots and they've scored twice, and that's just, like I say, that's the way of it, it seems to be, with the AI. Here's Xerxes. Oh, how has that not gone across to Martinelli? Unlucky there. That's a bit lazy there. Good tackle from Emerson. They get lucky there. That's not there for and it came off. I'm sure I tackled it and it came off their play. That's why it went to the right rather than left. Um, anyway. Kang and Lee driving up forward. That's got to be a foul. He took nearly all of the play here. Getting a bit of revenge there. He's getting, he's looking tired. Putting a hard shift. Kang and Lee. Zixi. Try to play in Perez. Not a good pass. Probably not the right decision either. <laughs> right. Okay. Here's Perez. Martinelli. Oh, nearly six. And we'll get one last chance with a corner. Nice strike. Good save. And we'll have Kang and Lee take this. Come on, one more goal. Let's be greedy. Emerson. Emerson. Oh, very good save. Still one more chance. Very good strike. But, uh, yeah, they hang in. Emerson again. <laughs> it's wide this time, but 5 2. Great victory. So there we go. Just about the better possession. Way more shots. And in the end, very much deserved three points. And again, Ruben Castro getting man of the match. Really did deserve that. Giorbi, he got two goals. Very much um, deserved the seven. Gedson, I thought he deserved better than a five. But very good all round. And let's have a quick look at the subs. Yeah, Lee Kangen and Zergs, he did well. Three points at the end of the day. That's all that matters. And you can see Barcelona have now dropped down to fourth. But look at that gap between fourth spot and fifth. But we're still nine points ahead. Real Madrid is our biggest rival at the moment. And Atletico... Madrid now tied with Barcelona. Next match is the final group stage game in the Champions League against AC Milan. We only need a draw for that one to finish on top spot. AC Milan are second, but I'd love to get a win to finish off that group stage in style. And then we'll be through to the knockout stages. We're already in December. The games are coming thick and fast. That'll be the transfer window open before we know it. And we'll see what sort of regens are available. Any possible signings that we may make. And can we potentially sell one or two of our youth players to make some money? We'll have to wait and see. So join us for those games, hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not ready and I'll see you next time. Cheers.